Yes, I'm being serious. That is the pattern for the week. We are missing every downstroke with the M skip. And that allows us to focus in on the sound and timekeeping of our fifth string. So I encourage you to record yourself as usual. Really listen, practice your deep listening skills. See if you can get that fifth string sounding the same with every stroke. Now, I also wanna introduce a concept called a check pattern. It's used in drumming a lot. And a tr check pattern simply allows us to verify that our hand motion in one pattern is correct by putting it back to back with a simpler pattern that uses the same hand technique. I know, it's confusing, but let me show it to you. Let's get the metronome going. Counting quarter notes, that's 120 BPM. I'm gonna start with the check pattern, which is just a double thumbing pattern. I'm gonna do four check patterns, and then I'm gonna go into the pattern for the week. Sounds like this. Okay, so the goal with this check pattern is that the hand motion looks the same when you're doing the check pattern as it does when you're doing the exercise for the week. It's kind of tricky. I'll show you when we get into these higher tempos what that's going to look like. Let's get, let's bump right up to 180. Here we go. Good, and let's go to 200. Let's do 210. I'm feeling a little wild today. Here we go. Okay, so just remember, this is critical. This check pattern allows you to verify that your motion in the exercise for the day, the danger zone exercise, is correct so treat it as that treat it that way you may want to videotape yourself so you can see that you know ask yourself is your hand changing when you're uh, switching between the check pattern and the exercise of the day uh, another thing to think about with this particular exercise is that the thumb on the m skips when you're just doing that m skip pattern it's going to have a tendency to lag behind a little bit so pay attention to that when you're keeping time with the metronome. You kind of have to make a mental shift and kind of get on top of it. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me. Maybe, you know, you guys can comment uh, below to let me know if you are experiencing the same thing. But I know when I play this pattern and I'm just doing my M skips, uh, my fifth string, I tend to get a little sluggish. I get a little lazy. I'm not on top of the click like I'd like to be. Uh, so let me know how that goes for you. Of course, you can always play this without the check pattern. Once you get used to it, whew, <laughs> kind of a mental break here. <laughs> That's tough to start. I'm used to, I've been practicing this pattern this week and I'm used to starting it with the check pattern in place. It's a real challenge to kind of leap right in. You've got to have a very strong sense. You've got to be confident in your count in in order to get that right. So please leave comments. Also, please subscribe. It helps the channel a ton. I'd love to grow this channel. Um, and I will see you next week. Have a good weekend.